Facts First presents No One Knew What This Strange Creature Would Turn Into Well, we'll get into the video in just a moment. First, though, click that like button to let others know that uh, you're watching the video. And also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Paul Russell had an 82-year-old relative who suffered from Alzheimer's, and for years the man lived alone. Well, now that his disease was getting the best of him, his family decided that he'd be better off in a nursing home located close to the family so that they could visit him often. And this would keep the man safe. He'd be able to get the care he needed. Unfortunately, though, the nursing home that he would be going to didn't allow pets. Many people found that to be kind of strange, since studies have shown that elderly people who own pets are less stressed and have less anxiety, and they even have lower blood pressure. Unfortunately, the nursing home in question didn't care about the statistics, and the man could not bring his 17-year-old Siamese cat named Siam with him. Well, Paul and his wife, they loved animals, so they decided they would adopt the cat. Well, after the man went to the nursing home, Paul went to his home to retrieve the cat, and when he arrived there, he couldn't believe the condition that it was in. It looked as though the man had been hoarding items for a very long time. He looked around the house for Siam but had trouble finding the cat. The only evidence the cat was even there is that there were scratch marks all over the walls. Paul investigated further and called the cat's name over and over again. Finally, he heard a cat meowing from down the hall. Soon, he found Siam laying in the bathroom tub. The cat was extremely hungry, and Paul wondered how long it had been since this cat had been fed. As Paul was taking Siam out of the tub, he heard something else in the home. As he investigated, he found that the scratchy growl was coming from the cellar. He couldn't figure out what was making the sound. He figured whatever was growling must have been the reason that Siam was hiding out in the bathtub. He took a deep breath and headed down the basement stairs. He thought maybe a raccoon had become trapped in the cluttered basement. When he got down the stairs, he saw a creature dart out of hiding and it ran across the basement. Paul didn't know what it was, so he ran up the stairs and out of the house. It wasn't long before his curiosity got the best of him, though, and he returned to the house with a flashlight so he could get a better look at whatever this creature was. When he shined a light on the animal, he thought that maybe a cat had fallen asleep under a blanket. When he got closer, he realized it was actually a cat under pounds and pounds of matted fur. Turns out the man forgot he had another cat. He never cared for that cat. Paul wrapped the animal in a blanket and took it to the vet. Nobody knew what this strange, neglected creature was going to turn into. According to the vet, the cat was neglected because of the man's medical condition and became overweight, and that made it impossible for her to groom herself. The vet named the cat Hildy and got to work on saving the cat's life. The first thing that had to be done was to remove all of that excess fur. To do that, the vet had to put the cat under anesthesia and slowly shave away the fur. When the fur was removed, they found an obese cat underneath. And now that Hildy was shaved and comfortable, the vet had to find a home for her. And that was when Paul and his wife stepped in. They decided to take in both Siam and Hildy. Hildy had very little human contact, and that made her pretty skittish. So for long periods of time, she'd hide under the bed. Each night, Paul would take the cat in his lap and he would pet her. And soon, she began purring and then looking for attention. Paul and his wife put both Siam and Hildy on a diet, and now both cats are doing better. They understand that Hildy would need time to start feeling like a part of the family, but she is well on her way. Subscribe for more!